the effective rate, is the simple interest rate that produces the same amount of money in an account at the end of one year as when the account is subjected to compound interest at a stated rate. So to illustrate this, let's take a look at an example here. You deposit 4,000 in an account that pays 8% interest compounded monthly. Find the future value after one year, and then use the future value formula for simple interest to determine the effective annual yield. The future value is very easy. This is straightforward. You just have to use a formula. This 4,000 here is the present value. And then 1 plus this is the rate, 0 0.08. But this is compounded monthly. So n is equal to 12. We just want to get the future value after one year. So t is equal to 1. Now plugging into this formula, you will get $4,332. Now next, we want to find the effective annual yield. So we want to know what is the equivalent simple interest that we will apply to 4,000 to yield the same amount of money. So to do that, we will just use the simple interest rate formula so A is equal to P times 1 plus RT. The time here is equal to 1. So we just have 1 plus R. Now the principal amount is 4,000 and the amount of money at the end of one year is 4,332. Then distribute this to each term and then transpose this on the other side. You get 332 equals 4,000 times R. To compute for R, we have 332 divided by 4,000, and that is equal to 0 0.083 or 8.3%. The effective annual yield is 8.3%. This means that an account that earns 8% interest compounded monthly has an equivalent simple interest rate of 8.3%. So the two are just the same.